Kanawha County health experts and elected leaders updated the community about moving forward as West Virginia considers reopening facilities. 13 News reporter Haley Kosick joins us now outside the Kanawha Charleston Health Department live with that update. Haley. Rob, Kanawha County currently has 154 positive coronavirus cases. And Dr. Sherry Young with the Kanawha Charleston Health Department is happy to share that community spread has actually slowed and they are now seeing it within, uh, you know, long care facilities. Uh, but she is still concerned, however, if outdoor restaurants and daycare facilities are allowed to open, that a possible outbreak might occur again. Some of the concerns I would have would be if people aren't properly socially distancing, um, that we could see a rise in disease again. Hopefully we'll have more testing available over the next several months. I'm really excited about some of the things that we have coming. Uh, hopefully we'll have antibody testing to see how we do with our uh, healthcare community who has been uh, exposed and maybe not tested previously um, and, and to kind of help us plan for vaccination and other things as we move forward. Another thing that Dr. Sherry Young announced today at the presser is that the health department will continue its immunization services, which they temporarily stopped due to COVID-19. And they will also be providing more uh, drive through testing on April 28th at Mary C. Snow Elementary on Charleston's west side from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m., however, by appointment only. So if you would like to make an appointment, call 304-348-1088. Again, that's 304-348-1088. Reporting in live in Charleston, Haley Kosick, 13 News, working for you. Haley, thanks for that update.